Hi everyone and welcome to another watercolor tutorial. Today we're going to be painting a beautiful outdoor landscape, uh, what I like to think of as the classic Canadian landscape, so let's just get right into it. Before the actual painting, I just sketched out with a pencil a horizon line as well as the details of a canoe, just because it's a little bit difficult to paint from memory. And then I kind of painted on a multicolored sky using baby blue, yellow, and pink mixed with orange. And while that uh, layer was drying, I painted in the water, making sure to paint around the canoe just so that when we do paint the canoe, the colors are, come out very vibrant. Now, uh, the issue here was that uh, my top layer had not completely dried, so I left this tiny, tiny gap between the horizon, like basically where the sky meets the uh, water because I didn't want the colors to bleed into one another. Um, you can definitely use a hair dryer to speed up your drying process. So once your layers have completely dried, this is where you want to start painting on your kind of mountainous background. So I painted on a very light uh, mountain and then once that dried I painted on a slightly darker layer uh, and th this obviously it's darker because I want it to appear closer to the viewer. I also went over my water I think for the third time. You can just keep going over uh, your backgrounds until you're happy with the opacity. I still wasn't happy with the opacity when my painting was done but at that point there was nothing I could do about it. Uh, so once your mountains have dried, this is where you want to start painting on all of the autumn details. So here we're painting on uh, kind of the, the trees in the background, so you want to take orange, yellow, and red, maybe even some brown, and fade those colors into one another in these blotchy um, brush strokes, basically. Uh, it's really hard to explain what I mean by this. Uh, if you look at a, an autumn landscape, uh, typically in Canada, you'll see that a lot of the trees, start, it just looks like these bushes of colors. So that's what I was trying to achieve with my trees here. I also did paint in some classic pine trees just because I did want to add some variation uh, to the background landscape. Uh, and if you've never been to Canada in the fall, and I'm sure parts of um, all over the world have this as well, but I just, I've mostly been in Canada in the fall and it's so beautiful. The colors change into the most vibrant reds and oranges and yellows and there are still some trees that are green so you have like basically half of the rainbow in the form of leaves. Uh, so look up some pictures on Google if you don't know what I'm talking about. Then I proceeded to paint my canoe, so I chose sort of a reddish maroon color because that's what I know canoes uh, to be. They're usually that sort of color, uh, but you can honestly choose whatever you want. I've also seen canoes that were this deep forest green color, so that would be a great option as well. I made sure to make the, the bottom portion of my canoe a little bit darker, shade it with a little bit of black just to make it look like there's some sort of dimension to the canoe. And once the trees had uh, dried, I started adding very uh, fine details, basically the trunks of trees to make it look like they're actually trees and not just blotches in the background. I used a uh, double, no, a quadruple zero brush for this, uh, for those details. So I've linked, as always, that brush and all the products that I use in my description if you want to add them to your collection. Here I'm just proceeding to uh, make my canoe a little bit more opaque, so adding even more details, a little bit uh, darker shading on the bottom again, just outlining the top with a, with a nice opaque layer of black, and then uh, in a moment you'll see me filling in the seats and the benches in the canoe with a beige mixed with a brown color, and then all of the little gaps in between using a, a lighter sandy color and also making sure to add the appropriate shading. Uh, the easiest thing to do for this step is to literally just google a picture of a canoe 
and copy the shading and everything that you see in that photo because it's it's hard when you're just starting out to be intuitive with your shading but just make sure white by by the way adding white accents goes a long way like it'll instantly improve your uh, painting even if you don't put the white accents in the right places it will still look really really good so just outline some of your edges with white and it'll instantly add this pop of realism don't forget to also add a little bit of shading on the water coming from the canoe uh, to make it look a little bit more realistic and I wanted to add some more detail to the left side of my painting because it looked a little bit empty. So I added some pine trees just growing off of an island there. Uh, I will link a tutorial on how to paint four different pine trees in the description as well as the top right corner of this video. And that's about it. Thank you very much for watching my tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and check out some of my previous uploads.